So why do we need an institute? Why do we call it uh, sustainability leadership? We don't believe that sustainability should be business as usual. Sustainability sometimes is perceived as such when we consider it the one aspect of compliance. Great, you're going to be good citizens, you're going to follow the law. That's not sustainability leadership. At best, sustainability followership. And I don't think that's enough. The actual change, the change that you then observe in the day-to-day, -day, it is driven by businesses. So clearly, if we consider such an important topic as a sustainability, we need to see how business can be the driving force of that change. The idea of the Institute is to really be this cutting edge ecosystem. Business leaders, scholars, finance, policy makers. We can help uh, create opportunities for these different groups to get together and learn from each other, translate this research into actionable insights. To see how sustainability can be incorporated as a mindset into the specific management aspects of any organization. Well, I think the main challenge I see is the dilemma of the human behavior. To do the cultural transformation, especially in the incumbents' companies, takes a lot, a lot of effort. Things need to be tangible. We always say you can only manage what is measurable. And that's what we are trying to do. We have clear targets and we follow these targets and we are transparent about it. We are walking the talk. At some point we're going to have to say what is allowed to pollute or to consume resources and what is not. Let's ask ourselves the right questions in terms of what does it mean for me and my organization to be more sustainable? What are the key variables for that? And let's be bold and dare to innovate. So I would precisely encourage everyone who is involved in this to find ways to create growth that is sustainable. So we start with these founding members because we want them close, sharing their needs, sharing their demands. Every initiative that supports leaders to understand those challenges, make decisions and walk in the right direction is very welcome. Because this will provide us with the tools that we need to implement later while developing our strategy further. In the medium and longer term, we do hope to develop more interdisciplinary knowledge. One of the hardest challenges is actually to get out of our comfort zone. Our comfort zone is our firm. Absolutely. So it's really important that you bring all the relevant stakeholders into the discussions that you can co-create with them. Think about uh, what do you want your legacy to be, you know, 30 years down the road. I'm a father of three, and that says it all. The future is our legacy. But that also leaves me with the hope. We as a group can think more about this and use the power of education as well to continue to change these mindsets.